Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. In today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to record uh, gameplay in VR using the Reverb G2. I've had quite a lot of people ask me about this and how to sort of how do I get the results that I get. And um, I'll show you uh, by using different apps uh, that help to, to do that. I just want to point out that this tutorial is for NVIDIA users. So what you'll need to do first is go to the NVIDIA website and download the GeForce Experience. I'll leave a link in the description below. Once your GeForce Experience is downloaded, what you need to do is very simple. Um, this is the actual main window. Yours might look different based on the layout options you have in these windows here. Um, I'm not going to go through the ins and outs of the app because there's lots of other good YouTube channels that do that. But I just want to show you how I actually record. I'm going to go through a few of the settings uh, before I show you how to actually use it. So if you just go up here and you click on the uh, open in-game overlay, you need to make sure in the section, the settings, you've got the in-game overlay uh, clicked on. And then you just go back home and you just click on this symbol here and it brings up the menu here like this. So what you would need to do now is, I'm not, again, I'm not going to spend too much time in these settings, but a basic workaround, a basic tour is basically you've got um, the HUD layout. So you can decide if you want to have your camera showing, uh, how many viewers are watching, your comments. You can uh, organize this on the HUD. Um, the other settings are all based on different streaming settings and audio settings. But again, I'm not going to spend too much time in this because I'm only going to show you how I record my actual gameplay. So it's very simple. All I do is I turn off the mic here because I actually use... Um, an external mic through Audition at the same time. But uh, I turn off the video, I don't want it. sometimes I'm on the video, sometimes I'm not. Uh, the reason why I turn off the voice is because I like to have it in a separate channel. I know you can do that within the GeForce experience, but I just prefer using the, the software that I use. So um, all you need to do is click on record and start recording. And you'll see the recording has started. And all you do then you just click out of that and that's recording the screen. When you finish recording, you would simply press the record button, stop and save, and exit. Once the recording has stopped, GeForce Experience saves it by default to the videos folder. So what you would need to do then is just go to the videos folder, find the latest uh, recording you just made, click on it, and it will give you whatever you just recorded like we just did there. So that's me talking to you with the window open a minute ago. So that's how it records the, um, the gameplay. So now we move on to step two, which is capturing the gameplay. What you'll need to do is start running the sim, uh, choose a flight. I stay in 2D mode throughout the menus until I get into the actual cockpit. And what I do, I go into the VR mode. Then what you need to do is just open the GeForce experience. Uh, I've minimized it a little bit, made it the window smaller so you can see uh, obviously the rest of what's going on behind it. Um, so what we want to do now is we want to record this actual screen. So if you've got multiple monitors, you just got to make sure that you're selecting the right one to be recorded. And then what you need to do, you just click on the icon here on the open in-game overlay, click it once, go to record and start recording. So now that's recording the screen. So what you need to do is just exit out of that and minimize the GeForce Experience app. And now we have, I'm playing the game, I'm flying the, the sim uh, through the VR. So what you see is what I see. So what I see is what you see. Um, and basically we just, we go ahead and we fly the flight. Don't worry about recording now. So that's basically what I do. I turn the sim on, run it, get into a flight, run the GeForce Experience um, Shadow Play app, and it's recording the gameplay. It's capturing the gameplay. Once you finish the flight, you just open the GeForce Experience again, and you click on the same button, go to record, stop and save, and that now has been saved. Step three is post-production. I personally like to use Adobe Premiere Pro uh, just because I'm used to it. Um, I was using a Mac for a long time, uh, so I was using Final Cut Pro, but I felt I felt like I wanted to make the jump across. So, uh, yeah, I'm using Adobe Pro, Premiere Pro. It's really good. Whatever software you use is up to you, so it doesn't matter. Any kind of software that you can edit uh, videos with is fine to use. I'm just using this one. So file, import, 
Um, and then I need to find where I saved it. So I've named, named it GeForce example to make life easier. And I just import it into the timeline. Here we have the recording taken from the GeForce Experience Shadow Play. Okay, so we've got uh, great quality recording. Everything's great, but the problem is if I play it, the uh, binocular glasses are there. Okay, so all we need to do is somehow think about this. So what I've done, I did a lot of experimentation with this, and the best thing to do, because this resolution allows it, is to just basically choose where you want to, to take the recording, start and stop it and everything. You just click on it, double click it, and you just pull the scale out. You decide which eye you want to use. And it's not ideal. You do miss a little bit out of the image because uh, just the way I'm trying to do it, but it don't lose any resolution. So I feel um, it does it justice enough. And if you're happy with what you're happy with, you just experiment with that. You press play and you can see, okay, that's good. If I'm not sure about it, I just press stop and I'll just move it around and I'll just try and keep these black lines out of the image. Okay. So once you're happy with the framing of your footage, uh, you can then leave it. You just want to, what I recommend doing is just running the video a few times and watching it and making sure that it is really what you want. You can, again, you can change uh, the framing just by stopping it and, and moving it. So I don't tend to uh, stretch it or pull it in because I don't I want to keep it in proportion because of the quality. So I'll just experiment with that. If I like that view, a bit more of the control panel then actually I want a bit more of the sky. So I just and then click press press play to check it. So I just want to check it through. Once you've checked it through and you're happy with the framing of it, that's how you record uh, your gameplay in VR. And everything else with your software is up to you, what you do with it, but you just treat it like any other footage because that's what it is. So you're basically, you're framing part of one of the eyes. I tend to use the left eye because the right eye, sometimes the mouse sits on the screen. And so you'll see a mouse permanently on the right eye and it was, you'll see the mouse arrow in the, in the window. Whereas if you see the virtual mouse in the VR, it disappears after a couple of seconds by default. So just be aware of that, like use the left eye. Uh, but I hope that helps. Um, so that's how you, but basically that's how you get good quality recordings of VR in the Reverb G2 using uh, NVIDIA Experience Shadow Play and the software of your choice. I hope this helps guys. Um, I look forward to seeing some of your videos and um, please like and subscribe if you like the content on here. And I look forward to making the next video soon. Take it easy and be safe.